guys, welcome to the video. Uh, today we're going to be going through some upper back mobility drills. Um, if you sit at a desk all day or you load yourself up under a bar pretty heavy regularly, you might get pretty stiff between your kind of neck and the rest of your rib cage region. That area is called the T-spine or thoracic spine and we're going to mobilize that. So a lot of people they kind of get stuck in this sort of flex position. So the main thing we're gonna focus on is extension through that upper back and rotation. So we're gonna take you through a few of those exercises that help gain that range of motion that most people are lacking to some extent. Give them a shot at home and let's get after it. T-spine extension over foam roller. For this exercise, we're gonna grab a foam roller. It's gonna go right across our upper back sort of around the bottom of the shoulder blades. You can kind of work to wherever your stiffest spot is so you can go a little higher, a little lower than that spot if you need to. What we're gonna do is place our hands clasped behind our head slash at the base of the neck. And then you're gonna put your upper back on the foam roller in that spot I mentioned. You're gonna pull your elbows towards each other to pull the shoulder blades out of the way. Keep your core active so that we're only extending through the upper back. So from here, we're gonna extend back and come back out of it. So we're mobilizing the joints of the upper back and the rib cage. So we wanna be moving, moving the whole time, not necessarily sustaining the stretch. PNF lat stretch. For this exercise, you're gonna hold a dowel or stick or broomstick, underhand grip. You're gonna place your elbows on the bench and you're gonna drop your head down between your elbows. So you're gonna elbows on the bench, move your knees back, sit your butt back towards your heels and let your head drop down in between to get a good stretch on the lats and mobilize into upper back extension. Try not to let your low back sag too much. So keep it neutral, just trying to get the movement through the upper back. To make this a P and F stretch, which just means contract, relax. We're going to drive the elbows into the, into the bench with about 50% of our maximal effort for six seconds and then relax again for another 10. So that's going to look like this. We're going to relax for 10 seconds. Then we're going to push into the bench with 50% effort, six seconds and then relax again for another 10. And you can get a little bit deeper in the stretch after that contract, relax. And you can repeat that cycle two or three times. Open book. For this one, we're gonna be lying on our side, hand out in front of you. You can grab something to give your head a little support too. You're gonna take bottom hand, place it on your knees so that they stay put and they don't lift up throughout the motion. Touch the ground in front of you. Rotate through your upper back, trying to touch the ground on the other side. Rotate back, follow your, head, your hand with your head. Slow and controlled movement the whole time. Thread the needle. For this one, we're gonna start on all fours. You're gonna reach underneath one arm and then rotate up towards the ceiling. So we're starting here. You can kind of sit back on your heels a little bit. Reach under. Open it up to the ceiling and repeat. Keep it good and dynamic, move slow and controlled, do the prescribed reps on each side. 